everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be addressing a very common problem that happens with new Glowforge users. I have uh, two sets of this word here, and you can see this top one has white spaces where the engrave is. So it's really common when people are first starting off with Glowforge that they don't set up their script font correctly, and you have this weird gap. So I'm gonna show you how you can correct this with one button and you can get these nice smooth engraves using your Glowforge. And if you're thinking about getting a new machine, you can check out the link in my description and you can see how you can save up to $500 on a new machine. Alrighty guys, I'm going to show you how we type out our text and how to make sure you don't have that weird overlapping space thing or whatever, okay? So I'm gonna type out my text. Let's pretend that I'm really excited. I'm gonna do a welcome. Um, this is typing out a font that I was looking at earlier, but let me change it. I'm, I've selected it with this gray box, and I'm using a font that I, I used earlier in another video. Jalathy, Gelathy, I don't know, but you know what I mean. Okay, so let's stretch this out. So a lot of times when we're typing, we're, we think we're set to go. Type it and engrave. But if you look, we have this overlapping right here because Silhouette or all of our design programs will see that these are letters and the font is made to overlap so they look cohesive, but they are still individual letters. So I'm gonna copy and paste and I'm just gonna do one simple thing. I'm gonna select this and I'm going to weld it. You can see those overlapping lines are gone and I'm just gonna quickly right click and group it together. Now, if you're a more experienced designer, you can make it a compound path. I won't go over that now, but that is another option. So now I'm all set to go. I'm going to select both of these. Make sure you're using Silhouette Studio Business Edition and go to File, Save Selection, and save it to your hard drive. Once you get to that window, you just have to choose SVG in the dropdown, and then you'll bring it over to Glowforge. I'm gonna run over to Glowforge now, show you how I set it up, and then we're going to run our cut and grave. So I have my words in here. I'm going to rotate them so you can see them a little bit easier. And you can see right here, we have our overlapping lines and then we have our normal one. So we're gonna go ahead and while we're processing, I'm gonna set focus to the middle of here. This is just telling the machine how far away my material is. You could also use one of the Glow, Glowforge presets, but I just went this way. So you can see both of my words here had the same line color. So they show up in the same section over here. I'm going to click this and hit engrave. So you can see it starts filling in and I'm gonna go over and just do birch light, which is a faster setting for me. And when I look at this, let's go over here. You can see when you hover over, it's darker right in those middle parts. So we don't want that. That's how we get that weird look to it. So I'm gonna set this up over here Let's move this down, and I'm actually going to shrink this because I don't need to run a long cut. So we have this right here, and just to make it easier for us later, why don't we go ahead and um, create an outline around this to cut. So I'm gonna select both of these, I'm gonna hit this button, create outline, and we're gonna create a new outline around it. You can see that's pretty big, so we're gonna make it a lot smaller. Let's type in 0 .08, I'm just guessing, it's not a magic recipe. I've just done outlines so many times that I kind of know what I want. So you can see there's a little bit of a green part inside. So I'm gonna increase it just a little bit, 0.1. So now it's around that whole thing. I'm happy with that. I have my material set, so I need to enter the settings for that cut. So we're gonna go to cut and we're gonna go to birch, which is a setting that I've used a few times. And we're all set to go. So you see here's our engrave and here's our cut. So it looks good right now, but let's go ahead and run it and see how it's going to look after.
All right guys, so here is the final product. Now I know that these have a decent amount of charring. I did have my settings up kind of high, but check these out. So that's the difference that we have. This is the text that was not welded. Now it looked like it would engrave correctly in our software, but you can see that it did not. And then that's the one without. So that's from not being welded. This one is welded. So hopefully this video helped. This is a really common issue that happens for new users of Glowforge. It's an easy one step for you to fix. If you're using a different software, weld is a pretty common command. So you can kind of find a way to make this process work no matter what software you're in. So if this video helped you, please give it a like and leave me a comment below. Let me know if this is something you knew already or let me know some other videos you'd like to see. And while you're here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And lastly, if you watch this video and you're ready to dive into Glowforge, check out the link in the description and you can save up to $500 on a new machine.